Welcome everybody to the official GCW Armageddon 2021 match card announcement. We want to give a big thank you to Nitrofix as always for designing our um, match card graphics here today. Thank you very much for that and definitely check out his channel and you know if you need graphics for your pick that hit him up on Instagram. And yeah, now we're getting right into the Armageddon match card. Now one match that has already been announced, the main event in the video we uploaded yesterday of the scenes that have happened be um, after GCW Lockdown, we have seen the decision that the main event of Armageddon is going to be a three-way for the GCW Championship. Kodai Bushi, the new champion who cashed in at Lockdown, uh, putting the championship on the line against AJ Styles, the former champion, and Kenny Omega. You know, so many uh, dynamics going into this match. The friendship between Kenny and Kota. You know, the blood feud between AJ and Kenny. And, you know, I wonder how this match is going to plan out. I think it's an excellent main event, you know, to uh, end 2021 with. And I'm so excited. This could go in so many ways. And, you know, you, we have, like, three of the greatest wrestlers of all time in that match. So, this should be an insane main event here for Armageddon. Then also, on the card with the GCW Cruiserweight Championship, newly crowned champion Rey Mysterio putting his championship on the line against the legend Jushin Thunder Liger. Now, Rey won the championship from Liger at lockdown in that five-way cage match. Dominic Mysterio made his GCW debut there as an equalizer to the Black Liger who has caused, you know, Liger's enemy so many problems in the past. And finally, somebody was there as an equalizer and Rey Mysterio was able to win the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, are Dominic and the Black Liger going to play roles again in this match? I definitely see that happening. And yeah, very important first title defense here for Rey Mysterio and obviously Liger wants that championship back. He had a great reign, so definitely an interesting match here for the Cruiserweight Championship. Then also on the card, we have a match between The Fiend, Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar. Now this match has been in the making since GCW Money in the Bank where The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, shockingly joined the Bullet Club. Now, we kind of made more sense of the dynamic between uh, the, the Fiend and the Bullet Club at lockdown. Definitely seemed like The Fiend is more like a hitman for the group. You know, they put him in last as kind of like an insurance policy in that cage match. And it worked out extremely well for Bullet Club in the cage match. Now, where it didn't work out well was after the match where Brock Lesnar came running out, obviously being mad of what had happened at Money in the Bank, attacking The Fiend, you know, they brawled through the arena into the backstage area. We saw some scenes of what had, has happened backstage in the video from yesterday. And then officials were finally able to separate these two. And now they're set for a one-on-one -on -one match at Armageddon and management has decided it to be no holes barred which was an obvious call in my opinion because these two in a regular match they would have just gotten each other disqualified like in the first minute because they're just gonna go at it uh, hard and um, yeah no holds barred I think is the perfect stipulation for them and I think that should be an absolutely insane match come Armageddon then another match on the card is the um, Will Ospreay and Seth Rollins match. Now this match has also been in the making since Money in the Bank, where Seth Rollins thought, felt like Ospreay cheated, cheated him out of the Money in the Bank briefcase, which in reality wasn't really the case. You know, he was mad at, at his disciples as well for not helping him, even though he had told them to stay back. You know, Rollins definitely going through a little bit of a crisis after losing the IC Championship to Kenny Omega at WrestleMania. Now, um, this match is going to happen. Osprey was supposed to f uh, face Kota Ibushi for the Money in the Bank briefcase at lockdown, but Osprey got attacked backstage by the Disciples and was laid out, couldn't compete that night, burning Hammer onto the production boxes we had backstage. 
and and now this match has been made and this is another one probably two of the greatest in-ring performers of our era going at it it's going to be a crazy good match i think osprey and seth definitely a dream match and we're getting that here at the final pay-per-view of 2021 then another match that honestly i'm afraid to see is this match jay white and matt hardy intercontinental championship and it's going to be a turnbuckle hook death match now this sounds like a very weird match to make but um, if you look at the story between these two of what happened on the road to WrestleMania, Jay White tried to make a point on Matt Hardy in front of Jeff Hardy, who he was facing at WrestleMania. And uh, you have seen what he has done with that turnbuckle hook. It was probably one of the most brutal things we've ever seen in GCW. And you have seen what damage it took on Matt Hardy's body when he came back. It was full of scars and uh, yeah, it, it was just bad what Jay White did. But Matt Hardy returned at lockdown, caused the elimination of Jay White in the elimination cage match between Bullet Club and the Elite. And now we're getting this match and um, yeah, it's going to be a death match. You know, turnbuckle hooks will be placed around the ropes. Uh, I feel like that's the way it's going to be and they're going to be able to use them and you know getting hit with one of those is absolutely bad and we have seen how much damage it caused to both Matt and Jay already and um, I don't know if that match is going to be long um, because I feel like one hit with with one of these things can end the match already so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this plays out but at the same time I'm absolutely terrified and I'm sure Danny will be too sitting there ringside. I mean, this is going to be insane. And I hope both of them will leave the building on their own two feet. This is going to be one. Um, yeah, it's going to be bloody for sure. And then another match for the card here is the GCW Tag Team Championship match. The newly crowned champions, stage creator and MDT Trey White are taking on the Undisputed Era. Now the forbidden door between GCW and WSC kinda has been opened here. The Undisputed Era from WSC made their way into GCW. The stage creator already did that earlier as well. And now we're getting this big match. Uh, Kevin Owens always there when the stage creator wins a championship. Kevin Owens is always there to ruin it and it was no difference here in GCW. And um, we have set this match to be no disqualification and under tornado rules. Now both of these teams, or you know MDT is the only one that's not from WSC, but you know WSC rules are always extreme. So you know it just made sense for this match to be um, extreme rules, tornado, no DQ. Um, so these teams can go at it at each other like they know from WSC and it's going to be crazy we we have to see if the stage creator can finally get like his revenge on Kevin Owens here you know it's definitely about time that 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 he would because it seems like Kevin Owens can't uh, leave the guy alone it's just ridiculous at that point so we have to see how that plays out at Armageddon, but this should be another great match. And I think we have a loaded card for this pay-per-view. It's going to be absolutely insane. A absolute great way to cap off um, 2021 and to go into 2022. We uh, hope you enjoy the card. Definitely let us know the predictions uh, that you have for this show in the comment section and down below. That wraps it up for today, and we're all very excited to see you all at GCW Armageddon 2021.